Parfait in Vienna. Hi, Paul. Greetings from Vienna. Well, you live in a lovely city. I love your channel. Thank you, sir. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. I was just listening to a couple of my favorite albums on Tidal, and I thought of get, getting them on wax when a question popped into my head literally a minute ago. <laughs> well, don't hesitate to write. And guess who immediately came to mind? Hmm. So my understanding is that vinyl encodes the sound by having the sign curve engraved or pressed onto the disc. That is fairly trivial. Okay, but how can one retrieve a stereo image from this encoding given that the needle only moves along in one groove? Thanks in advance for the response and all you do. All right. The question is, we get it, it, it a lot. It is confusing. You've got a vinyl record. You've got a groove that goes around and around and around. And the needle goes in and it moves back and forth and you get two channels. How does that work? As an aside, <laughs> I remember seeing a Calvin and Hobbes cartoon and Calvin sitting down listening to a vinyl record on his little player and his father, I don't remember the father's name, but the father comes in and he goes, oh, you listen to records? Yep. He goes, well, here's something for you to think about. He said, think about a disc. And the outer part of the disc is much larger than the inner part of a disc. Therefore, the amount of time it takes for the needle to go around the inner part is much less than it takes to go around the outer part. Has to be, right? And yet, the record moves at exactly the same speed but it has to go faster on the outer part in order to stay up with the shorter path on the inner part. How does that work? And the next picture is Calvin laying awake, his eyes going, he can't sleep. Just, you know. <laughs> I, I love that. Uh, that and the far side, those are my two favorites. Okay, how do we get stereo out of a single groove? Well, here's the thing to think about. The, the simple answer is there's actually more going on than what you think. There is the lateral left and right wiggle back, going back and forth. So they cut this thing at an, uh, 45 degree angles like this. And basically, the, as it goes along, the needle is moving back and forth like that. But it's also going up and down. Uh -huh. That's without getting too technical, because there's a whole bunch of stuff, like the, the left channel is always the lateral movement, the right channel is always the up and down, but there is, and then mono is when, is, is it's going back and forth, the left lateral and the right lateral are the same. If they're different, and then there's the up and down, then you get the right, basically, this needle, the, the, the easiest way to think about this is the needle's moving this way, and there's a coil, and so there's a magnet at the end of this cantilever, right? And it's going like this, and there's a magnet over here that is uh, a coil uh, that's in, in close proximity to the magnet. And then you have one up here that's going like this, and that between the two coils, you get the left and the right output. So you can't see it going up and down, but that's what it's doing, and that's how we get stereo out of a final record and mono. All right, hope that helps. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.